Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? It's Ace Money, Sportsbook Robbery. Good to be back. I'm going to hop right in this. We've been waiting. We got our Bridget Carlton over two and a half threes. Even money. FanDuel. It's the only book that really has lines out right now. So uh, late Tuesday night. Uh, they're playing Washington. Washington's ninth and three pointers allowed. It's only 12 teams. So the end of the pack. It's clear this four out of five. It's a good three-point shooter. If you've been watching, you know we've been playing him for a while. Uh, it's averaging around 30 minutes, uh, shooting about 40% from three, almost eight attempts. She's hitting at least three. She's exceeded two and a half threes in seven of the last eight games at home. Uh, they're playing at home. Last 20, 60% hit rate. Last 10, 70 uh, head to head, they have played once this year. She's gotten three. So, uh, it's all looking good. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure she was on Team Canada. So, she should be rested enough. They stopped a few days ago. And uh, I think she'll be all right. I'm a rock with a Bridget Carlton, two and a half threes. Let's get it. Uh, next up, we got Atlanta Smith rebounds over five and a half. Minus 128, FanDuel. Uh, it also says minus 132. That's probably because they probably have it at five plus. Or you can find it on her name, Atlanta Smith over five and a half. So always make sure you look sneaky like that. But sometimes you can find it better, better odds. Always line shop, have multiple books, different lines, uh, get different values, get some uh, positive EV right off the rip. But I should clear this four out of the last five. Uh, Washington's pretty bad at rebounding. Not bad, but they're not the greatest. Ranked seventh overall to the forward position, still ranked seventh. Uh, she played Atlanta. For the break, she had 10. Indiana, she had 8. Seattle's really good at rebounding, but she's still clearing this pretty well. Uh, she plays plenty of minutes. Let's see what we got. Head to head. Played once this year, she had 8. Going back to last year, she cleared it four times, but I don't really count that. Uh... I figured, too, with the layoff, it's probably going to be more rebounds going around. The girls are fluky as it is, so usually a good rebound that gets their rebounds anyway. Uh, five and a half, I just think it's too low. Rocking with it. Atlanta Smith rebounds, five and a half. Let's get it. All right, uh, next up. I went with Dolson. Stephanie Dolson rebounds over five and a half. They have it at crazy plus money, plus 285. I did a half unit. Um, rebounds are allowed to Minnesota. They're ranked 12th, which is last place. It gets a little worse. It's about middle of the pack to the center. But to the forward, they're 10th. To the guard, they're 10th. Um... Cleared this 7 out of 10 the last 10 games. She had 8 versus Phoenix, 6 versus Vegas, and they're a good rebounding team. To set the odds, I gave it a shot. She exceeded 4.5 rebounds in 5 straight games versus a bottom 5 defense rebounding, averaging 6. So all things say play it except for the odds. Um... 
with the layoff too, like I said before, I believe there's going to be some missed shots, more rebounding opportunities. Uh, both, well, actually, Mystics are really good in field goal percentage, but uh, there's also been a lot of trades, not a lot, but the trade deadline happened over the break too. Uh, Mystics lost a few players, gained a few players. Uh, nothing crazy, but we'll find out. It's going to be a little rough week, so I didn't have too many plays. But, uh, oh, I got seven of them. I guess that's kind of a lot. But it's three games. So, like I said, I'm going to do a half unit. And uh, hopefully we'll get lucky. Dawson over five and a half rebounds. I'd like to take this time and ask you if you could like the video. New viewers, please subscribe. Uh, turn the notifications on so you get my plays. Uh, NFL's coming up too. We get live bets. Anything I do, I give to you guys. I try to be as transparent as possible so we stay in the loop. Uh, I appreciate everyone. Let's keep it moving. It's John Quell Jones, rebounds over eight and a half. Uh, big spread on this game. Liberty's a big favorite. Uh, theme of of coming back. I believe there's going to be plenty of missed shots. She would normally clear this on a, on a regular day anyway. Um, playing Los Angeles. Playing at LA. But uh, stayed away from Hamby for LA. But LA also just lost... Zora Stevens. She was, uh, I believe she was a forward and played center. She just came back like a week before the break, two weeks, and she's very tall. She was grabbing a lot of rebounds and stuff. But either way, even with her, I think Jones will go over this. This number should be a nine and a half. But uh, should be an easy catch. She's exceeded eight and a half in four of the last five games on the road, averaging 10. Los Angeles is fourth in rebounds allowed, but to the center position, they're ranked 12th. Uh, numbers are going to change a little bit just because there's been a couple trades, like I said. And uh, Jones didn't go to the, the Olympics, so it should be well rested. Uh, Stewie, uh, that guard, can't think of a name. Uh, she don't really be getting that many rebounds, but I think still would be a little jet lagged, possibly. And a couple more boards to go to John Quell. But uh, easy cash. Let's get it. Stamp of approval. John Quell Jones, eight and a half. I already know. Everything. I found another gem. Uh, points over 11 and a half. We played all these games. Just didn't miss the one. Uh, 16 last game, 23 the game before that. Like I said, she missed this one. 22, 14, 12, 14. She's doing real well. Uh, obviously, Liberty's got a good defensive team. That's why the number's lower. Uh, it's the forward points to the forward position that ranks seventh. That's... 12 teams, so that's past middle of the pack. She's averaging the last 10 games, she's averaging 12 shots and 43%. Uh, hitting at least one three. Shooting 70% from the foul line. Uh, like I said, they traded Stevenson. There's only a few people on the team that are scorers, and she's one of them. Uh, she's a rookie. She's a baller. I'm going to ride out with her. Also played her rebounds. They got it at uh, minus 114, FanDuel. DraftKings didn't drop their lines yet. It's crazy how hard it is to find plays, stats, and anything for WNBA. 
with our rebounds over four and a half, minus 114. Now, Liberty is ranked fourth overall rebounds, but to the forward position, they're ranked eighth. So, um, as you see, she cleared this eight out of the uh, seven out of the last ten. Six for Seattle. Seattle's a good rebounding team. Dallas is, you know, mediocre, but she had seven. Uh, Liberty, she had one, but she was only playing a few minutes, 16 minutes. She has exceeded four and a half rebounds, and uh, five of the last six games, averaging about five. So I'm a rock with her points and rebounds. I played separately. Uh, last five, eighty percent. Last twenty, fifty-five percent. Should be some missed shots anyway. And uh, even if this was before the break, I'd play this. We are rocking with her. I'm gonna keep rocking with her. Let's get a Ricky Jackson. We got her for her points over eleven and a half, and rebounds over four and a half. All right, last up, I got Reese. Rebounds, 12 and a half over. Minus 114. This might get bumped. Uh, playing Phoenix. Phoenix, 11th overall. Ninth to the forward position. And uh, we already know Reese is a beast. I laid off her around here. Just playing it for a while. But uh, Phoenix is a team. She should be able to board off of. I don't care that uh, Sasquatch is on the other side. Uh, Brittany Garner. Sorry. <laughs> uh, she's exceeded 12 and a half rebounds in five of the last six games at home, averaging 15. Uh, should be some rough shooting. Suns had a couple of. Uh, Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Mercury had a couple players in the Olympics. So, might be a little jet lagged, a little more tired. By the way, Reese is grabbing these boards. Uh, last five, 60%. Last 20, 55%. Uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's a rebounding machine. We already know that. There was a few other leans I had. If I play him, I only give you guys the bets that I place. But uh, I liked Car uh, Kennedy Carter. She had a, a sprained ankle about a week ago, but she should be all right. Uh, her points, it's a little high. I got it at like 20 and a half, but she should go over that. The Chicago traded uh, Mabry. So I don't know who's going to run their point or how that's going to affect them. So I also laid off it because of that. But uh, Mercury would give up the most rebounds to the guard position. So they had Carter's rebounds at four and a half, a good plus money. I was going to play it. And then they dropped it down to three and a half for like minus 135. I still think that's a good bet. But uh, I got seven plays already. So I had to narrow a couple down. But the, those are two other leans I had. And uh, John Quill Jones assists over three and a half. They got it at like plus 140, I think. Uh, last two times she played, uh, who are they playing? Los Angeles. She has six and then eight. That was this year. Uh, like I said, I took it off because of. You know, the risk of her not hitting it as well as I got so many other plays. But uh, if you're looking for other plays, I would play them. Any other other plays that I decide to play, if I do, there'll be in the, uh, a pinned comment or a drop in the community. Uh, it's good to be back. Hopefully we keep up where we left off. We were killing it. I uh, appreciate everyone. Ace Money, the name, getting paper to game. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh